All I'm going to say is, that music gets old quick. Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1991 by Sega and then Toplan themselves I believe converted it to the PC Engine CD-ROM. It never got a North American release because of who distributed the arcade cabinet in North America which could have been Midway. I'm not sure. All I know is I had it as a kid back in the day hence the fact that I have it now as an adult in my Japanese Mega Drive collection because of the good reviews it got in magazines and also it was a given if it was a side scroll and shoot up by Toplan then it was going to be pretty good. So let's get into it. Uh, as you'd expect for a Toplan arcade game it's absolutely balls hard and I haven't played it in Yonk. So let's put in some money. Money, money, money. Right, so I've got to work out what the controls are because of the attractive being stuff like that. Anyway, so in the future, 2100 and something, um, the UN has formed a peace treaty with a cyborg known as Cats. It's not, you know, shortened from something else. It's just cats. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why the screen is doing that. Maybe it's a main thing. Maybe we'll find out when I play it on the Mega Drive. Or maybe I should get a right stick. I do like the fact that it gives you decent power-ups straight away. And there's no mistaking the power-ups. Because look, they come in these friggin' massive ships. Right, I'm going to keep this one because I know that that gives me rockets, which I'm not a fan of. Oh, I'll we'll just say that like that. That works. That might have been a bad idea. Actually, this might have been where it was good to... What? Oh, they absorb bullets. Just not that one going for my face there. May have been good to have homing missiles. Uh, I can't seem to put my, uh, what are they, satellites. Use them to, like, destroy these ships or whatever, so that's a bit odd. You lose all your power-ups and you're screwed immediately. Um, it's got that very Toplan style of graphics, hasn't it? I don't know if it's running on the same board as Hellfire. But you can tell it's made by them. Nothing wrong with that. Stand up, Sean. Might help if I actually aimed at him, isn't it? Oh, look at that. The way they come in like that, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset. I'm not gonna put money in. I wanna go back to I don't need to for continue actually. Don't, oh yes I do. No, no. It's cool music as well. Every Toe Plan arcade game has this really kind of metallic twang to the music on it, which kinda of makes sense because most instruments are metallic. Anyway, right. Money, money. Right, I wanna go back to the start so I can get a decent set of weapons. Um because talking and playing is not my bag, baby. As you probably realised. Shame that they never got a release in North America because it is a damn good shoot 'em up. I haven't played it in years, so I'm not going to be particularly good at it. But I do remember I completed it as a kid. Sucked in so much of my life, and also uh, it has one of the infamous bad uh, Japanese to English translations ever, doesn't it? Which is all your base belong to us, or something like that. I don't know. Pretty sure you know it. It's been a meme for years. Am I? I'm going to get the holy missiles because why not? That's a nice effect. Right, we'll stay here. Right, I need... Ooh! To suck something onto the front of my ship. I should have said that a little bit faster because it could have sounded awkward. There we go. See, immediately, you can see how useful that is. 
know, I'm just staying sharp. Although, is that... Balls. Hard. See what I did there? You're going to put me right here. It does give you a chance to get one power up, doesn't it? Just as bloody well. Holy fuck nuggets. Doesn't mess around. You're probably not going to see a lot of this. Blow up already. <laughs> Too busy avoiding shit and finding gaps that shit is finding my face. Right. No, 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 no. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna run the countdown and uh, build up my weapons again like a cheating pussy because they are actually a thing. I believe they're called Manchester United. Ha, sorry. Oh, come on, they're not any good anymore. They could be the butt of everyone's jokes. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the main thing. Obviously, I'm playing this on my modded Xbox. Could have played it on my modded Wii. It's a pretty simple game to run. Not to say it doesn't look shiny and fantastic and have its charms, because it does. Right, what you've got to remember is... Just make sure you use... I should have gone this route. Your uh, ability. All oh, the rubbish homing missiles. To stick stick stuff onto the front of your face. This is a fucking balls hard game. I'm sure there are people screaming at the screen and saying, you suck at this, I can do this. Prove it. Blow up already. I'm penned in, that's that's just not cricket, that's not fair. All your base belong to us. Them, me, no one. Hold me, I'm scared. Up time, please. See, because they're firing stuff and one will go. Damn, this is hard. When I said I remember being this hard, to be fair, I never played it in the arcades. So it probably has always been this hard. Or bullets there to some degree. I was just going to say, you're actually going to blow up. That works. Right, do I? I don't think I want the homing missile. I think this is pretty much Jim Dandy. Yoink! Trick is playing a game that's easier. Oh, Shizen! He's shooting those purple bastards on the floor. He was going to do it. Oh no, he's not going to do anything. Yoink! Don't get that. I remember you. Not from the arcade, from the Mega Drive version. Yeah, I should be putting more shit on the front of my face. I may have bought this. I've bought this. Well, there you go, at least you saw a little bit more of the level. Anyway, oh man, this is where shit gets really bad, isn't it?
Right. Yeah. I just finish this life and we'll have a look at the Mega Drive version. To be fair, it's no gradius in the sense that it does give you somewhat of a chance by giving you a power-up straight away. Anyway, let's have a look at the Mega Drive version. Let's see if it's as balls hard. Ooh, intro. Uh, I'm assuming this intro is basically specific to the home port. Anyway, 2101. This is where we get the infamous translation then, or bad English, because it's not in the arcade. That's a nice touch though. It's nice art, I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot all about this. Boring random fact, not only do I have a Japanese version, I'm not sure where, but I've actually got um, a PAL version as well. That's cats. All your base art belong to us. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Video game history. Captain, what you say? You have no chance to survive. Make your time. Cats. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's exactly my thoughts about that movie as well. Every zig. Skip, skip, skip to the end. <clears throat> well, at least the title doesn't, well, the company's name doesn't take up half the screen. Right, press start button, options. Yes, it's gotten easy. Thank God for that. Which I guess you could argue means it's not particularly accurate to the arcade. And it's got a rapid fire mode. But they do that actually with um, their conversion of Hellfire, don't they, on the Mega Drive? So at least they are aware of physically how hard the arcade version is. Now, this should be a reasonably accurate conversion. I mean, it got really good reviews and I loved it back in the day, but <clears throat> doing it side by side like this should be quite interesting. Exit. Boom. Natals. Alonzi. Points for the correct. More cutscenes. Okay, that's cool. More broken English, please. Makes me wonder what the CD-ROM versions are like on the PC Engine. I could have just looked it up, I'm aware of that. I do like it when you could argue that they've given you um, extra content over the arcade. Rapid Fire is welcome. We've got a star field that's a lot more colourful than the arcade. That god awful flickering's gone, that must have been a main thing. Loads of sprites on the screen at once. They've done what they did with Hellfire in the way, now I love you, in the way that they've uh, displayed all your information at the top of the screen. Uh, your sprites are accurate, nice, big. You can see that the graphics have taken a hit. That's not to say they're not good, they're very nice. My homing missiles are far more effective in this than they are, god love you in the arcade. I'm really quite impressed with this. I mean, <clears throat> side by side, you can obviously see a big difference. But, if you played it in the arcades, <clears throat> excuse me, Space Traveler does that to me, gives me gacky throat. If you played this in the arcades, and then you come home and played this conversion, I think you'd be more than happy. Right. I was going to say it's far easier, but then it's got an easier mode, hasn't it? So that's not really a fair comparison. And you're quick. You're, you're sh that's one thing that's very odd. There we go. I just walked out well, there's so many of them. Your ship moves around the screen far quicker than the arcade. I'm not going to complain, though. It's quite useful. I just blew up my own thingy. That sounded awkward. I just blew up my own thingy. Obviously, this is running on my Mega Drive Mini, so if there are some emulation issues, I'm not sure. I was just going to say maybe Easy was not the option to put it on, but then it just blew me up. Music's pretty decent. I'm very impressed with this. I know why I loved it back in the day as a kid now, because it's pretty good. Yeah, that was never going to happen, was it? You know, no harm in trying. Well, you can get them. You're like, alright, okay, so we may have it on easy. 
It's not a walk in the park, though. I'll have you. Mainly for those powers. That is cool. The fact that it only lasts for one shot, which I guess is what they were going for, is a bit of a pain. See? This is cool. I'm very, 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 very impressed. It's weird when you haven't played a game for years. <clears throat> In this case, probably five. And then, oh, you can't blow up. You, you suddenly get, you know, deja vu, like with that. Geiger's less talented brother. Didn't just draw him, but blew me up. This is going to end in tears, isn't it? Well, you saw a little bit more of the arcade. I mean, if this is accurate, at least you can say, well, I know what the arcade looks like now. Absolutely very minimal slowdown. Very impressed. Reminds me of... What was that Spectrum game? You had to drill with something very much like that. Fuck. Absolute fuck. Fuck off. Now, obviously, if I had all my power ups. Maybe the blue lakers, then he wouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> I like the fact that it says at the top of the screen so everyone else can know how crap I am at this. Easy. would be in order there. Do you know what? Easy or not. Oh look, it's free play as well. I'm going right back to beginning to get a little bit jingy with the lasers and shit. Easy or not, they don't, you know, half mess around, do they? Or don't like to mess around with these things. Just with the uh, translation. Alright, skip, 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 skip. You broke in English. Shink. Did it blow up in the arcade? I can't remember. I have to say this is a really good port. I'm really, really impressed. I am quite happy for the inclusion of an easy mode, but it's still not, you know, amazingly easy. Which you could argue is probably a good thing. Just not for the purpose of me doing a comparison video. It's about your life. That's dead handy. And you, like I said, your homing missiles seem to be far more effective. And powerful. <clears throat> Again, probably the inclusion of easy mode. How can I see what I'm doing? Uh, I'm going to stay with the green ones. Oh cool, you can uh Oh a little bit slow down there. You can shoot it at them. This is awesome, I forgot what a great, fantastic, majestic and glorious game this is. Yes, I stand by that descriptive term. <clears throat> Why not how effective it is shooting these things into them? I'm gonna stay with this one. And when I say these things, the thing on the front of my ship, and just shooting it straight into the bad guy. Ooh. That was lucky. Ah! I... what? What is that? Well, I'm fucked now, aren't I? So... <clears throat> Those blue lasers, while well, they're dead handy, they certainly seem to get in positions where they are absolutely useless and can't shoot certain object, objects such as those purple guns when there's a certain thing in front of them. Worst descriptive term ever, I am aware of that. Got a bit of screen tearing on the bottom left, I'm assuming that's Mega Drive Mini. Just blow up already. Be a good chap. There we go. No, 
No, I don't want that. I want this one. Ooh. Oh, fuck a Rooney. Well, I'm going to call it quits there. Zero in Arcade versus Sega Mega Drive. I am very, very, very impressed at what a good port this is. This difference in the colour palette, obviously, in the size of the sprites and the resolution. Um, it's far more forgiving, which is a good thing. But yeah, I would have been more, if I was you know, a massive fan of the arcade, I would have been more than happy with this. Especially since it's a tad more forgiving. And you don't have to go broke. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Particularly if you had this game back in the day or loved it in the arcades. Or both. Thank you, oh balls, very much for watching, and I'll see you later.